a lot of part of loving yourself is is being alone loving being alone and loving doing things alone doing things by yourself and this is what i talked about in my course where you know you start traveling by yourself going to the restaurant by yourself going to eat out by yourself going to um, do things by yourself be spending time with yourself learning how to be intimate with yourself I see some women ju always jump, they're always in a relationship. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but if you are in a, if you can continue being in toxic relationships all the time, then it's good for you to take a break. Sometimes, you know, women jump from relationship to relationship to relationship and not taking a breath and saying, okay, let me, let me just take some time for myself and understand what happened in the last, last relationship. So now when you get into a new relationship, you, you don't, carry all of those things with you because you've taken time to work on yourself and that doesn't mean that you're not going to get into another relationship that's that's not going to have problems but at least you can now understand you can understand why you attract this kind of man why do you always attract this kind of situations because you've taken time for yourself when you're always forcing yourself to be in a relationship or stay in a relationship because you don't want to be alone or you don't even like him you just want him to be there just just so that people can say you know relationship then you're not really helping yourself because there are too many distractions you know you're with somebody you're trying to please them you can't really focus on yourself so being alone is critical in this self-love journey and it doesn't mean you have to be alone for like a long period but you have to be alone enough to love being alone love being single love being single love being enjoy being single it's when you enjoy being single and you enjoy doing yourself when you get into a relationship then you don't, you're not needy you're not needy for that man you you enjoy the relationship as an addition to you you enjoy it as yeah as an extension of you not as something that is like your source so that when when the relationship ends you fall apart and you are like oh my god what am i supposed to do or you're clinging onto him because you don't want to be alone because you don't know how to be alone you don't know how to do things by yourself. You, you're scared to face yourself. You're scared to listen. You're scared to be with your own thoughts. So being alone, like I said, is very critical in the self-love journey. Doing things by yourself. Not always asking your friends for advice. What do you think about distress? What do you think about... I know we don't... Well, women, I, I expect women in their 40s not to do that. But I wouldn't be surprised um, if it happens. Um, I think that's something that younger women do a little bit more. But, you know, always asking your friends for advice, always asking your friends whether this is right, not allowing yourself to make your own decisions. That's also an issue, an area where we need to work on. 